Hey everybody, welcome to This Week in Math. Today we're going to be talking about equivalent fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. All right, so this is going to help us prepare to get ready for decimals, which we're going to hit in a couple weeks. So first thing I want you to see is that I have two different um, squares here, but they're the same size. Um, it's just that this one is divided into 10 parts. So we're going to mark it with a denominator of 10. And this one is divided into 100 parts. And you can tell because it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 across. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 going up. So we know that 10 times 10 equals 100. So we're going to put 100 over here for our denominator. Now the trick um, on what we're going to do today is try to figure out how to find equivalent fractions. And if you remember, equivalent means equal. So we're going to make the boxes up on top equal so that we can figure out how to make equal fractions on the bottom. So let's say we wanted to fill in 4 tenths. Well, you would do it like this. You could just color them in. So I'm going to try to be pretty neat as I do this. So I've got two there. Three tenths. And now I have right there. Four tenths colored in. One, two, three, four. So this mat this fraction down here should match my box. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is equal to this side. So all I have to do is color in the same amount. And if I've got the rows here, I'll just fill in the same rows here. So I've got it here. I've got, I'm going to fill in this one. Now, you can see that it's the same amount in each square filled in. They're just divided up differently. And now, so these are equal, we want to make these down here equal. So what we'll do is we're going to um, just count up the squares. And we know we've got rows of 10 here. I could count individually, 1, 2, 3, 4, but that would take me a little while. So instead, what I'll do is just count by 10. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40. So I know now that I have 40 one hundredths. And so if we look at these, we know, okay, when we're going from tenths to hundredths, all we really need to do is multiply times 10 on the top and 10 on the bottom, and that will get us to the equivalent fraction. Moving on, the if we wanted to go in the opposite direction, let's say that I had 80 one hundredths, and I wanted to know how many tenths that is. Well, I can do basically the same thing. First, I need to fill in 80 one hundredths. So I would go like this. I'd go, I'm going to go a little faster this time. Three, four. Five, six, seventy, and eighty. So you can see that I filled in eighty boxes. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty boxes. And if I go over here to this side and do the same amount, I'm going to go from here to here. And all the way up here, here, I'm going to fill this whole area. Remember, it's equivalent, so I have to do the same amount on both sides. Now, how many tenths would that be? Take a second and try to think about it. If you said eight, you're right, because look, 
one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths. So over here, this would be eight tenths. So again, this time, if we're going from hundredths to tenths, we're dividing. So we would do 80 one hundredths divided by 10 tenths equals 8 tenths, because 80 divided by 10 is 8, and 100 divided by 10 would be 10. So we're, that's one way to figure out equivalent fractions. Try the Khan Academy practice um, or the worksheet that I provided, and then tomorrow come back, and we're going to try to do another example um, using equivalent fractions. Thanks for watching.